We're looking at uh, 1313. Uh, this one's actually out of uh, 76, and we never really gave him a different name, but he's actually the kingpin on Carol's sister boar that we kept this summer. Uh, Chuck and Ben Olson there in South Dakota would have bought the Littermate uh, Dash 2, and we kept Dash 1 here at the farm and used him. Uh, very intriguing kingpin son. Uh, so many similarities to his sire, and then backed by uh, the very impressive sister to Carol. Um, to add intrigue to this one, he's out of 11-9. This sow is actually a Goosebumps visionary. Uh, Boots will remember her as uh, the belly knot guilt that he had the same summer as Carol. Uh, and that was a, a guilt that uh, had she not had a belly knot, uh, she may have given Carol as much, much competition as she would have had all summer. And that's the mother of this one. So uh, he's out of a very good sow. He's out of a different boar here on the top side. Uh, we don't know a lot yet about this young sire, but I do like this pig uh, here in 131-3. Yeah, fun story about their mom. Um, we actually fixed her belly knot three times. <laughs> Never got her showed. <laughs> Sent her up here. A week <coughs> later, the belly knot was gone, and she looked incredible. Um, so thank you for that. Um, but on top of that, um, for the way this one's bred on the top side, a very different type of a look for something that's got a fresh shot of kingpin on top. I mean, stout skull, um, crest and pole shape look incredible with a hard type of a short back laid into him, heavy duty. Uh, this thing's got wild parts and pieces with an awesome color and awesome presence here. Awesome pedigree on both sides. Uh, I think one that's got a lot of intrigue and a very high ceiling this summer.